Hello, and welcome to the Planned Appointments and Plan Tracker webinar. Planned appointments are appointments that have not yet been scheduled, and the Plan Tracker is a way to manage these appointments. First, we will cover how to create and utilize planned appointments. Then we will cover how to manage them within the Plan Tracker. There are two ways to create a planned appointment, the first of which is in the chart module. With the patient selected, navigate to the chart module, and within the chart module tabs, select planned appointment. The edit planned appointment window will pop up and you can attach procedures, add an appointment note, and edit any other fields you would normally edit when creating a planned appointment. Go ahead and attach this for tooth 14. Then click OK. And the planned appointment will appear within the planned appointments tab. Alternatively, you can create a planned appointment from the treatment plan module. Simply highlight the procedures that you want to attach to the planned appointment, and then select Plan Appointment. It will pop up that same Edit Planned Appointment window where you can attach additional procedures and add other notes as normal. Go ahead and click OK. And now it will be showing as well within that Planned Appointments tab in the chart module. There are a few other options within the Planned Appointments tab. From this tab, you can delete a planned appointment, send a planned appointment to the pin board, and move the planned appointments up or down on the list for priority. If all procedures attached to planned appointments for a patient have been completed, you can mark the Done checkbox which will delete all planned appointments and indicate to the front desk that there are no planned appointments for this patient. You can also select Show Completed to include completed planned appointments within the list. Let's go ahead and schedule one of these appointments. There's a few ways to do this. First, if you're in the patient's chart module, you can select the planned appointment and then click Pin Board. This will copy the appointment to the pin board and bring you to the appointment module. Then it's as simple as dragging and dropping to schedule the appointment. If you have the patient selected and are in the appointments module, you can also click the View Pad Appointments button on the right-hand side. This will pull up all planned appointments as well as any other appointments. Select from the list and copy to pin board. It will copy that appointment to the list and then you're able to drag and drop to schedule. If you are utilizing the patient dashboard and have patients for appointment within the dashboard, you can also double click on the appointment, send to pin board, and then schedule by dragging and dropping. Now we will go over the plan tracker. It is located within the appointment lists window. Click the planned tracker button. From here, you're able to sort and filter the list within the options at the top of the window. The order by dropdown will sort alphabetically by either unscheduled status or patient name. You can also sort by date of creation. You can filter by provider, site if using public health or mobile units, clinic if the office is using clinics, code range, which will include appointments that have at least one of the procedures within the range entered, and by date of creation using the from and to fields. After setting your order and filter, click the refresh button to update the list. We can see that we have the one that we just created now. From this list, you can double click on an appointment and the edit appointment window will pop up or you can edit any information as normal. You can also change the unscheduled status from this window to help with monitoring the plan tracker list. You can also right click on an appointment 
which gives you the option to select the patient, attach the appointment, go directly to that patient's chart, or send the appointment to the pin board for scheduling. The print list button will print the list as shown. Also, you can click on the setup button to define the default range of planned appointments to display. That wraps up the planned appointments and plan tracker webinar. Thank you for joining us today. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to call our support line for assistance.